Now we'll see what is the lens maker's formula. Generally, lens maker's formula is used to find out what type of material can be used to make a lens. Given the refractive index, radius of curvature, and what is the focal length required. Okay, so we make use of this expression in using what is lens maker's formula. We'll take a convex lens out of this two surfaces by convex lens. Let us say first surface is this, and this is the principal axis what we have. Okay, here O is the object. Somewhere here I have the uh, one light ray passing straight to the principal axis and I will take one more light ray like this and this is getting refracted and forming an image. Say let us say this is O dash. So, this is the rarer medium and this is the denser medium. First case the light ray is traveling from rarer to denser. Okay. And I assume that mu 1 is the refractive index of the rarer medium and mu 2 is the refractive index of the denser medium. So, this is the point P pole here what we take all the distances are measured from the pole. right? Now, I assume that this is the object distance u and here this is the image distance. Okay, I will say V dash and R 1 is the radius of curvature for this particular surface. I am drawing only one surface out of the two surfaces, one out of two surfaces for the biconvex lens what I am taking. I will apply the lens uh, this formula which is used for spherical surfaces apply to the situation and then go ahead with the other part. Okay. So, when I apply this formula to this particular situation, what will happen is like I have mu 2 minus mu 1 divided by radius of curvature for this surface is R 1 okay, is equal to mu 2 divided by V, V is nothing but here is V dash okay, minus mu 1 by u. Now, what is happening is this O dash is representing the image of O, the point object. This image is formed in the denser medium. We will not be able to see that image. So, this image is a virtual image. Okay, it cannot be caught on the screen. Right? Now, if I have the second surface, a curved surface whose radius of curvature is R 2. Now, what is happening is this image which is formed by the first surface of the lens acts as an object, a virtual object to the second surface. Okay. And what will happen is again refraction will take place at the second surface and an image is formed here at the point say i. In this case what is happening is this distance v dash will be acting like an object distance. Now, the pole of the lens instead of taking the pole of the surface over here considering both the surfaces I will take the center and approximate it to be as a pole for both the surfaces this center I will take it as call it as the optic center. Okay. So, now the center of curvature or the radius of curvature is measured from the optic center over here and this is still valid. Now, I will write the similar expression. So, let us say this is expression 1. Okay. This is for the first surface R 1 whose radius of curvature is R 1. Now, what is happening is the second surface R 2 is convex on the other side. So, its radius of curvature will be on the left side. Fine. I will write the same expression for object. Now, what is happening? 
the light ray is going from denser medium to rarer medium image is formed in the rarer medium okay so rarer medium will be the second medium now so in that case same expression if i write i will get it as mu1 minus mu2 divided by r2 mu1 minus mu2 by r2 will be equal to where is the image formed in the rarer medium so it will be mu1 by v minus mu2 divided by v dash this is for the second surface so here image is formed in the second the rarer medium again so the rarer medium will be the second medium now and i will write the expression accordingly so i am getting this now if i add these two these two expressions what i am going to get is adding these two i will get mu2 minus mu1 by r1 plus mu1 minus mu2 by r2 is equal to if i add these two these two expressions will get cancelled finally what i am going to get is mu1 by v minus mu1 by u okay this is the v distance okay now i can simplify the terms on the left side here mu2 minus mu1 by r1 plus mu1 minus mu2 by r2 if i write this also as mu2 minus mu1 i will get a negative sign over here okay so in both the terms then i will get mu2 minus mu1 so what i can write is mu2 minus mu1 by r1 minus mu2 minus mu1 by r2 is equal to i can take mu1 common in both the terms mu1 into 1 by v minus 1 by u in these two terms i can take mu2 minus mu1 common so in that case what will i get is mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 is equal to mu1 into 1 by v minus 1 by u okay now if i bring this mu1 over here it will get in the denominator i can write it as mu2 minus mu1 by mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u okay this i can further simplify and write it as mu21 minus 1 where mu21 is nothing but mu2 divided by mu1 it is a relative refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u this 1 by v minus 1 by u is nothing but the focal length of the lens formed so i can as well write this expression as mu2 minus sorry mu2 1 minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 is equal to 1 by f and this is what makes the lens makers formula so i will be able to calculate the focal length of the given lens given what is the refractive index of the lens and what are the two radii of curvature of the two surfaces of the lens this is what we know as lens makers formula